Hola everybody and thank you for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House. Today's project is super simple, super easy, anybody can do it. It literally is just glue and paint. But I want to show you how I did mine. The inspiration piece for today's project actually comes from the dollar spot at Target. And I want to say that this only cost me a dollar. So our the project I'm making today is actually going to end up costing me more. But I had these items on hand, so I didn't have to go anywhere and buy anything. And I did want and kind of need another little riser, little mini riser like this. I use it for putting plants on in my decor so it kind of gives it some height. So I was wanting something similar. And I had these pieces in, in my stash already, so I thought, why not? So I got this little cutout thing. It's actually pretty thick. I got it from the Dollar Tree. I got these little cubes from the, from the Dollar Tree, and I purchased these beads on Amazon. And I'll link up what I can in the description box below, of course. So my original idea was just to kind of really mimic that and use my miter saw and kind of make it a stand very similar to that one. But then I thought, no, let's, let's judge it up just a little bit. So I think what I'm gonna do is glue these cubes together, but to add that little extra oomph, you know what I'm talking about? I think I'm gonna put this, glue this on top. And I don't know if I'm gonna use it and then put the, put the thing on top of here, or if I'm gonna put the bead on the bottom put that on top and then put the plant, the stand on there. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna kind of wing it for right now but because I need to glue everything together. For today's project, you're gonna need this wood hanging decor. I got mine from Dollar Tree for a dollar, but I'm sure you could find it at maybe like Hobby Lobby or Michael's, maybe even Target sells something similar. You'll also need six cubes that come in a pack from Dollar Tree, and I'll link those in the description box below, as well as three beads. I'll try to find out what size I'm using, but I got those on Amazon. You'll also need this Rust-Oleum Chalk Ultra Matte Paint in Linen White and some wood glue. Okay, to start off, we just need to snip off this little piece of jute twine there. I'm not going to worry about the hole. It does, I mean, it does have one, but... You're not gonna see it. I'm just, it's gonna have a candle on it, so it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna set that to the side, and I'm gonna glue all of this together. I am using the Elmer's Carpenter's Wood Glue Max, waterproof and stainable. So, it bonds stronger than wood. Fantastic. And all I'm gonna do is put this like this, and then I'm gonna put a little one on top. Let that dry. And then I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna put it together. So now I'm gonna let these little guys dry. Now that my little, these look like little people like, oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so now that the little legs of my riser have dried, oh, we still have a sticker on the back. We need to take that off. I'm gonna glue these little guys on the bottom. Just gonna do it in like that. Like I'm sure there's like a scientific way to figure out where to exactly place them, but I'm not a scientist. So, uh, and I did decide to do them with the bead on the bottom because if you're looking at it like this, I feel like you can see the little bottom, like the little bead. But if you're looking at it like this, you don't see the bead. Like you don't see the little, and I guess I could put a bead on both sides. Hmm. That might be, huh, should I do that guys? Should I put a bead on both sides? No, let's not get crazy, let's just get this done. Cause I don't need it to be like 10 feet high. Just want it a little bit higher. All right, let me figure out where I'm gonna put these. I probably should measure, but I'm not gonna. Just gonna eyeball it, just gonna wing it. And if any of you guys wanna like critique me on this, come on over and measure for me. Okay. Done. And I do have a little bit too much glue there. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. We'll just sop that up a little bit. Get those guys out the way. I don't feel like these look like Fisher Price people. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments below if you think they look like Fisher Price people. Maybe I'll put a little bit of glue on. And I am going to try to make it about the same distance from the edge 
Am I gonna, am I doing too much at one time? I think I am, but it's okay. We're just going for it today, guys. I'm gonna let those both kind of tacky up just a little bit. Wait, which one did I do first? This one? Does it matter? No, it doesn't. What? Try to put them the same distance from the edge. Although it's not gonna matter. I mean, who's gonna be looking at it? If you guys are looking that close at my project, stop. Find a new hobby. Don't, don't critique them that much, but I am trying to make them kind of. Okay, there we go. So I've glued the little legs down here and kind of a good distance apart. I don't know. I feel like that needs to come over more. I should have measured y'all. I should have, but I didn't. So it's okay. See, I feel like that one needs to come over. All right, let me put some more on this one. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Just kidding. You can do it any way you want to. Okay, so I have these three on here. I'm gonna let those dry for a little while. Then I'm going to paint them. Paint them, paint it, paint the whole thing, not just them. Although I guess I could do like a little dip action where part of it's one color and part of it's another color. That might look pretty actually. Hmm. I don't know, let's think about that guys. Our little mini riser is almost complete. The legs have been glued on. Now I just need to paint. I'm just gonna try to get around as much as possible. I'll probably need to do two coats of paint because there's lots of little nooks and crannies. I wanna make sure I get it all coated with the paint really well. See, that's just looking so cute. I'm so excited about it. I painted the bottom half. I do need to give it another coat, but I'm gonna let it dry for just a little bit before I apply a second coat and then start on the top. I'm just gonna finish up this little plant stand plant riser, little riser stand. Not sure what you wanna call it. I'm gonna call it not finished. So let's do that now. As I'm trying to become more patient with painting, I'm finding that you really should just do a very thin coat at first, and then you can go back. Okay, now I'm gonna let this dry. Here is the finished project, y'all. I think it turned out really super cute. Gives a nice little hut to that candle. You can also put a plant on it. You could put a knickknack on it. You could do all kinds of things. So easy to make, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All of the products that I mentioned should be in the description box below if I could find links for them. And don't forget, if you wanna follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy.